Hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's busy schedule. Stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It's uh, 7 30 ish, Tuesday, the 2nd of May, 2023. It is 28 degrees Celsius right now in Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, Humidity is at 37%. That's 82 degrees Fahrenheit. See if it that's 81 degrees Fahrenheit. No, 82. Gotta make up his own mind, I guess. So, oops, can't be leaving my cup on the hood of the truck. Oh, it is not magnetic. Ah. <laughs> uh. I don't even think it's ferrous. I think it's stainless steel, so magnet wouldn't stick to it. But that's neither here nor there. Itchy. Right down the center of my back. So, anyhow. Oh, a little bit of a late one tonight been out running around doing this and that and the other um, had to go get gas 326 I think it was a gallon almost 17 gallons I was a little over a little over 50 bucks so uh, anyhow Came out here to Castaway Island to do a short video. Now I'm going to work my way back home again. Which way do I want to go? Probably this way. They've been doing construction on this main road. Looks like they're widening it pretty, pretty good. So there's construction all the way up all the way to the other end oh, I just don't feel like dealing with that I dealt with traffic on the way down here we're looking for something at the Dollar Tree they just don't I think I've mentioned it before and most people realize it but you know, Dollar Trees don't always have the same stuff, you know? So, I did that. I did a couple of everyday carry containers. Had a small fire container out of, I think it's supposed to be a coin purse. Either a coin purse or for carrying a uh, headset or something like that. Anyway, it's, it's in the same department where... You have all the phone stuff. But again, not everyone carries it. So I was at three different stores today looking for something appropriate. And uh, nada. So what I want is, like I did the black fire case. I wanted something that was just like plain plain red or plain yellow or something but they've got all these designs and I couldn't even find any plain black ones again so probably going to go ahead and use the black one that I made up because I haven't carried it it's still just the way I made it but um, coming up on 3,000 subscribers here so I think I'm going to do a giveaway Maybe a multiple item giveaway. It's the way I'm thinking of it right now. Um, a little black fire kit, a knife kit, maybe, maybe two knives, or I could throw in some artwork and can place one of the knives. Um, 
Y'all let me know what you think. Which would you rather have? Uh, I'll tell you a little bit of what I'm, I'm thinking about on the art piece. It's just going to be a small canvas with a, like a space scene in it. And then one of my small uh, put together spaceships. Kind of either glued on it or attached to the wire so it kind of dangles in front of it. I'm kind of going with the wire idea. I kind of like that idea. But none of it's written in stone. So, again, let me know what y'all think. And then I haven't decided whether I'll do, like, let the first place winner choose what they want. Probably be the best way. So, you know, first, second, and third. Probably do a random search. I'll tell you, I'm not so sure that, like, all the subscribers watch. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm positive that all the subscribers don't watch all my all my videos like this, like today's. But I picked up four subscribers last night from my short videos on the ham, on the chili and potato casserole thing that my daughter made up. I don't even know what to call it. It was other than it, it was good, so. So yeah, I mean, I picked up, you know, four subscribers on that. Usually on, on the, the, the short videos is when I pick up my my subscribers. So, I mean, I've been on YouTube, what, seven years now? Almost eight years. And I'm still at like 3,000 subs. Not lighting the world on fire, Doc. But I'm not here to light the world on fire. I'm here having fun and trying to bring you all along for the fun. So that's basically basically what we're at. And it keeps my it keeps my mind what am I trying to say? Yeah. It keeps my mind active. So, you know, thinking about um, little kits and different ways to do things and survival bags. You know, even like, even neck knives. I like small knives. And I kind of like the idea of carrying a neck knife. But as much as I go to carry them and it's never never seems right um, I'm used to having a a knife and a sheath on my hip and one in my pocket so having one around my neck it's not the, it's not my go-to plus if you've noticed I don't have I don't have abs <laughs> there's a big old keggy checker down there so knife doesn't really sit unless I have it short and I have done some where I drop them over and under my arm that's kind of cool but again it's not my it's not my go-to I don't reach there for a knife I still reach for a hip and I don't even wear a belt so Shoot, now I'm not even wearing suspenders. I just got elastic waist fat old man pants. <laughs> I do have a couple pairs of jeans with suspenders, but uh, and I have a nice habit. I mean, look at any one of my any one of my grab bags. There's 
three, four, five knives. I think there's like four knives or five knives on just my keychain. So, anyway, part of today was going to Home Depot to get keys cut. A key for the van, a key for this, a key for the house to give my, give my son. I got up to the key cutter and couldn't find the keys. Couldn't find a key to the van. So, backtracked my entire way through the store. And, uh, finally found it right out by the truck. So at least I found it. Good. I was happy about that. Good to go. But, uh, oh. I'm trying to decide if I want to go home and make something to eat. Stop and get something to eat. I think we'll go through the old back way through the old neighborhood. Man, that sun is aggravating. So. Uh, take this off for now. Yeah, I'm not sure. I mean, I made up dinner last night. I got enough left for leftovers, or enough left for tonight. But I could either do grab some fast food now and I have that later. Or I'm going to have that now and make up something later. So, maybe I'll go home now. Go home and make that up now and then make up Stand the bean sandwich later. So, uh, looks like I came down here on trash day. <coughs> Ooh. Plastic chairs. This is a little better than fight traffic. Uh, not a whole lot, but a little. So I'm not sure. Well, I gotta go back out again tomorrow. I need to go to the store. Uh, my daughter didn't get some of the things that I want for uh, making meals over there while she's gone. I don't know what's up with that, but oh well. And then I've got some wash I need to get done before I go and then get the dishes and everything caught up so I don't come back home to a step instead of you know nasty nasty dishes so that's probably going to be my tonight and my tomorrow along with like I said a little bit of a little bit of running around Yeah, so today I did Harbor Freight. I got what I wanted there. Um, I needed some tie downs for the some cable ties for the back of the back of the truck. A cable cable, uh, security cables, and some locks. And 
stuff I should have had when I got that electric bike, which I'm still kicking myself over. Uh, but anyway, I got what I wanted there. And like I said, I was doing Dollar Tree. Um, trying to find some items at Dollar Tree. Just not, not cooperating with me. So. Uh, oh, well. Oh, and the other thing I had to get was, was uh, transmission fluid. I got transmission fluid to go in the van. I need to do something with that tonight or tomorrow. But right now I'm getting hungry, so I'm heading home. Oh, all I had this morning was uh, an English muffin and then a, a protein a protein bar. Wix, Wix bar, I think, or something like that. And not even a full one. I had it. I have the children's kid size, like that big. My goodness, what happened to my camera? I hit a bump or something. Yo. No. Ah. Uh. So, yeah, really not a whole lot going on. Um, I mentioned this before. Like, I buy stuff with a project in mind and I put it down and then, you know, Time gets past me. Uh, something co pops up or whatever. So I came across uh, these gnome cutouts I'd made and I'd gotten from Dollar Tree. But I got an idea on what I want to do with them. I just sat them down and misplaced them. So I pulled them back up. I found them yesterday. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. Pulled them back out and set them to where they're a little bit more prominent. But I don't know if I'm going to have the time to get around to those or not. So, nothing but a thing is, I like the idea is going to disappear from my head. And I've had green, I've got this green walking stick, if you watch my walking stick video, you can see what I'm talking about. The handle's busted, and I didn't realize it. I mean, I did, but I put this thing away, and a few times I pulled it out, I was like, ah, oh, man, this is busted. I need to fix it. Well, I didn't think until today that I could take that off. It looks like it would fit a half-inch PVC fitting. One thing I may do tomorrow is go back to Home Depot and get my keys cut and see if. Sorry, I've got to stop looking at the curb. Uh, see if a, a, a half inch fitting will fit on there. And then I can do a T handle and maybe put a flashlight in it. Uh, I really like the ones that Adventures with Spackman is giving away. They got the, they got LED lights down below the handle. And they're supposed to give off like 48, 72 hours worth of light. They'd be great for me walking to the truck, or walking to the house from the truck at night. Because that side of my house is dark. Even with the light on, it's dark. So, I'd like to win one. 
But if not, I mean, it's just, it's an idea that needs to be, I mean, instead of a, instead of a, an elbow, maybe I can do a T. And then put a flashlight in there. I have to figure out, like, get one with the, the rotating on off. That might work. We'll see. That would then that would probably move that one up to one of my more used ones. So anyhow, we are just about to the house. So let me know what you think folks. Give me a thumbs down, a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Wherever it is, y'all leave comments on your internet access device of choice. Like share me around your social media that is an Oculus. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they ain't, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. Ugh. We ain't promised our next breath. So I see y'all again. I hope you have a fair document today. Slotch it, y'all.